Hey everybody, it's Jay Haskamp with Frontier Precision. Um, a little different video today. I'm actually on PTO this week, but I was just too excited to, uh, to tinker with a new toy here that I figured even though I should probably be, probably be doing something else, um, I just couldn't, uh, could not do this. So uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I had a, uh, a special surprise on my desk. Uh, those of you that know me probably know that I'm a big fan of the uh, Trimble TDC 600. It's my favorite data collector. I use it for literally everything. Um, a couple weeks ago, as I was packing up to head out of my office um, to be gone for an extended period of time, uh, namely Geo Week uh, last week and then vacation this week, there was a shiny new uh, TDC 6 on my desk. So. Um, of course, I had to take it with me, and I figured I would bring it home, and I would do a little unboxing video, since this is probably going to be um, my new uh, data collector that I that I probably use uh, mostly moving forward. So, got through Geo Week. It was a great, uh, great uh, show. Met a lot of cool people. Saw a lot of good familiar faces. Um, it was fun to get back to Denver. It had been a while, and now that I'm uh, through my honey do list for the week here at home. I figured I'd just hop out in the garage here real quick um, and check out this TDC 6 and uh, what it's all about. So I've got everything here. So the first couple um, things we notice here, we got a TDC 6 box. This looks like a probably an extra battery and it looks like we've got a mag plate bracket and I'm guessing this is probably the corresponding pull bracket. So TDC-6, replacement for the TDC-600. Um, I love these because it's basically like a cell phone. They're compact, they're lightweight. You can just put them right in my pocket. I think these are like 10 grams. These are pretty light. There's not much, not much heft here. Um, these come with Android 12. Um, however, they are upgradable, so you can do all the Android security updates and all that kind of thing, so you're good to go there. Um, they're built to with hand, uh, built to handle you know Trimble Access, Terraflex. Um, you can put Esri Field Maps, Pen Map, things like that on here. Um, they come with a worldwide 5G modem, so you can put them on any of the cellular networks that we need to work with. Um, I believe they have Bluetooth and NFC, near field communications for sending data. Um, integrated GNSS receiver tracks you know. GLONASS, Beidou, Compass, Galileo, L1, L5, all the good stuff. And um, I think these have like a nine hour battery life is what I read. Uh, it's like a four hour charge, nine hour battery life, plus uh, extra battery, they're hot swappable. So that's pretty sweet. Um, 6.3 inch screen. Uh, what else do I have here? They're IP67, so they're, they're very rugged, uh, very good in dust and water and rain. Uh, temperature operating specs, I have some notes here. It's negative four uh, degrees Fahrenheit up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, they come with six gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of flash storage. There's a micro SD port on here uh, where you can, I think, put a card up to 256 gigabytes and uh, front and rear cameras and all the bells and whistles. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm gonna try to get this up and running today. I called back to the office to uh, to my good buddy Tony. You probably know Tony Edelbrock, and he made sure my TDC 600 was was signed out because I have a uh, Trimble Access subscription license. So hopefully I'm signed out there. I can put access and load it right on here and uh, hit the ground running. So let's take a look and see what's in the box here. Open this guy up. Pull this out. It looks like we've got a. Little thank you notes, and if you want to get the documentation for it, a little QR code, um, take you, I'm guessing, right to the data sheet and specs. And here it is TDC 600. Put this up here. Yeah, very lightweight. Looks very cool. Um, nice, sleek design. Nice and thin, nice and lightweight. Set this right down here. Looks like we got a charging cable and a battery. So I anticipated this. One thing I have already noticed, um, charging cable, this is a good thing, is USB-C 
um, to USB-C, which is pretty common. Same thing that the TDC 600 had, um, but there is no um, plug-in or block that comes with it. So in anticipation of that, I did bring uh, my block from my TDC 600, um, but it's pretty standard Trimble USB-C, USB-C cable. Um, you're just gonna need one of these blocks. And you can get these through us, Sarku Trimble, or your local dealer, or whatever as well. So we have everything we need to charge. Let's see how we get this battery on here. It looks like little pinchers here. I'm guessing it goes this way. Snap on. There she is, that's all there is to it. I don't have screen protector for it yet. We'll get there, let's just see if she fires up if there's any juice in this battery. Yep, Trimble powered by Android. Excellent, so while that boots up, let's take a look at what else we got here. It looks like extra battery, because they're hot swappable, so that's good. And mag plate. So this is going to be the bracket. And I've seen these already. These are pretty cool. So this is from Trimble or yeah, it's a Trimble part. And this is the bracket. So it's going to clip on the back. And what's cool about this is there's this magnetic plate here. So this will clip onto um, via the magnet to your rod bracket. And it looks like just clips on the back, easy peasy, just like that over the battery. Still pretty nice and sleek and sturdy, doesn't wiggle, doesn't move. Um, says hi there, you wanna start in English? Yes, we'll just get this guy going. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi really quick here. Connect. All right, grabbing an IP address. And it looks like it says getting your device ready may take a few minutes. Cool. So we're gonna open this up. Last little uh, gift box I have here. And this is the mag mount for the pole. So um, pretty, that's tight. I don't have the strength. Oh, there we go. So pretty standard, clamps onto your pole. You can position it however you want it. And this is just as simple as, boom, mag mount. Pretty, uh, pretty good, actually. Takes a little bit of effort to get that off. So I'm shaking it. Hasn't fallen on the floor yet, so I'd say pretty good. I like that better than the, than the cradle. So, mag mount, pull bracket. And this says copy apps and data. So this is basically just your standard um, Android setup. So I'm gonna, just cut the video here for a minute to get um, Android and everything loaded on here. And then I think I'll maybe try to put a uh, screen recording app on here so then we can go through the process of um, putting access on here and signing into my Trimble ID uh, to get access up and rolling. So there it is, uh, TDC 600. Again, I'm super excited about this. I don't know why I love these small little form factor controllers so much, but I mean, I mean, put it in your pocket, whatever. Um, I'll probably use this quite a bit. So, all right, we'll cut the video here. And when I come back, we'll go through uh, getting this guy set up. All right, now we're back on the TDC-6. First thing I do is just check to see what apps I have. And I like to bring them to the desktop. So usually I'll just find the Trimble apps and tap and drag them over. And I can place them here on my desktop. So it comes with installation manager and mobile manager. Then we'll open Trimble Installation Manager to install Trimble Access. So it's just going to ask you a couple questions. You can click through those and accept the license agreement. Um, pretty standard setup for Trimble Installation Manager. Let's check to see if it's up to date. You can see here there's a new update available. So I'll go ahead and um, install that because I want me to do that before we run anything. So there's just a little setting here to run an update. And then when this is done, the app is installed. So we can go ahead and open it up. This looks just like it would on any other um, Trimble Android device. So it will, again, just check to make sure that's up to date. It does it every time you open it. And then it'll give you a list of what can be installed on the device. So you can see Forensics Capture, SiteWorks, and Access. We're gonna pick up Trimble Access. It'll read the serial number. 
get the latest license and update information and then here you can see um, what it's going to want to install. If you want, you can install the global features um, FXL file. Uh, otherwise, just pick your language. So here we got English and then we will hit the install button here and it'll activate the license and the warranty um, for the TDC6. So to run through and download some supplemental things, and then it'll ask you if you want to install the actual Trimble Access apps. We'll go ahead and do that. When it's done, we can pick open. And you'll see, I think I hit cancel here. You'll see that it's just up to date and ready to use. Everything's got a green check mark, which means it's installed. Again, it puts an icon on the desktop. Just move it over to the main um, front screen there and then go ahead and open it up. It wants to access photos and media, pick allow and wants to use your location so while using the app is what i will select here and then since i have a subscription license i need to sign in um, with my trimble id now with the android devices you have to sign in with the google you know device to get them up and running so it's going to by default say hey do you want to use this same um, email address to sign into trimble access or to the trimble system if it's different you can hit no um, which is what I'm doing here. I'm just adding in my Trimble login information. Got my username in and now I will enter in my password. And then once that is in, I have the two-step um, authentication on. So it's going to then text me a, um, I think it's like a six digit number or code um, to verify that it's me. So that got sent to me and I'm keying that in right now. And then I can go ahead and submit and it'll sign in. Now what we're gonna notice here is you're gonna have to click through the license agreement and if you wanna participate in the solution improvement program. And here you can see, um, it says I'm, my subscription license can only be, be tied to one device. So um, when I had previously called Tony to log me out, um, it was signed out but like not fully signed out. So what we found out is we actually, I called Wes, he signed in on his login credentials and then it allowed me to um, sign in. But if you pick OK, it'll just run in a limited mode and won't really let you do anything. So now we got that straightened out. Um, I'm going to go back and sign in again. And here it'll let me sign in. And you can see now when I exit the software, I have the pull down where I can automatically release it, prompt me to release or leave my subscription locked on this device. So just kind of a little thing that, that was a gotcha on the last one. Um, we didn't have the setting quite right. So we were looked like we were logged out, but we technically weren't. Um, but now that you're logged in, you can see I have access to all of my files on Trimble Connect. I can pull in here and I can grab, you know, whatever I want, either the entire project or whatever files are within the project. And I can pull all that down to Trimble Access. So. Logged in, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna create a new project. We'll just call this, uh, let's see, we'll call it troubleshooting. And when we're done typing that, <clears throat> create, we'll give it a name. I always like to just fire up a test job um, every time I get new software, new, new anything, just to make sure everything looks the same and is working fine. So we're gonna hit test. And then um, I usually just go through and pick a coordinate system too, just to be safe here. So I'm just gonna pick our local um, Minnesota County system here. Just gonna grab it from the list. And then I'm gonna pick my geoid model. And what's cool here is nothing is loaded on here. So I have Minnesota geoid 18 picked. Watch what will happen. I'll key in my project height and I'll say, hey, you need this file um, before we had to manually put them on now it'll automatically download the the geoid files for us so um, just a couple other quick settings and then i usually just gonna probably just open my map screen here we'll turn on the trimble maps and we'll just kind of zoom in make sure that the the onboard gps is working um, working right and looks like it's gonna look good here yep so even though we're we're actually in the new uh, the new garage here, which um, isn't on the on the aerial. We are in the right spot, so everything looks good.